Hey guys, welcome back to another podcast episode. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about Nikki and Megan Beef. And let me tell you, social media is on the rampage. Like, there is so much going on between these two. The back and forth, the... Oh my gosh. But we finna get into some things. But at this point, social media is the entertainment. We don't really need a TV at this point. Like... Social media is entertainment. TV is like a back- background noise because you know I'm the type of person I don't like silence. I like to have noise because I don't know. I just like noise in the background. It just makes me feel I don't know. I can't do silence, especially as a college student. I have to listen to music. I have to have my favorite show on. Like I was watching Stars the other day, and let me tell you, I miss that show. But if you haven't watched it, I will watch it, but you will be disappointed because the show canceled at a good timing. Not a good timing, but a bad timing because they left us in question. So that's what I've been watching lately. But for that, but we're going to get into some things. Now, I want to let y'all know I'm not taking no side. These are two successful, beautiful black women. It's kind of, it breaks my heart that they're running up against each other because you know, we should all as black women come together. But as you can tell, some of us blacks, and just to be honest, we, it's hard, all of us, it's hard for us to come together. It's always a hate towards each other. It's always a negativity, just so much, you know, so that's just my opinions, you know, but there's not going to be no messiness going on in this episode because I'm, you know, I'm a woman of God. I stay positive. I don't take no, taking no sides. But but let's start off do with the Meg- Megan Diss called his. Um, I've heard it. You know, like I said, these women, they both killed it. You know, they got that accent. You know, they got that hoodness in them. You know, Nikki, she from New York. So Megan, she did her, his, his diss track. And what everybody is talking about is the Megan Law. And for to say, I did have to research because I did not know what Megan Law is. So basically... It was a seven-year-old that had got, you know, raped by a registered sex offender. So, and I was glad that I learned it because I always like to learn my history and know what's going on in this world. That was in 1996. So, that was, it, it can feel like it was yesterday. So, you know, especially we still, it's still going on to this day. We have, we got to protect children. We have to watch our surroundings. So, Make sure y'all watching this, kids, watch y'all surround us, be safe. Stay prayed up because it gets real out here. So I was glad I was able to learn that. I feel like that case doesn't get that much attention that it needs. And, you know, rest in peace to that young, beautiful girl, you know. You know, it just kind of like, it was just very heartbreaking. But I'm glad I was able to learn the history. I feel like it doesn't get enough attention, need to be talked about enough and educated to certain kids because you know kids nine days it's hard for them to really watch their surroundings because they're they're young they're playful they just life is fun to them but always educate young young adults young kids so that way they can you know be safe around their surroundings because there's a lot going on and there's sex offenders there's rapists and they're on the lookout to get the next victim so i just want to share that out but yeah so that was the megan law she did and I had to do a research and, you know, of course, it mentioned sex offenders. It was a jab, to, you know, a jab towards Nicki Minaj's husband since he's a sex offender. So it was kind of, that kind of hit, hit, you know, and Nicki got in the studio, like right after the song and went in the studio and did Bigfoot, which that was like a song about her, you know, getting shot. So Bigfoot, so, you know. And that's basically just making jokes of her getting shot by Tory Lanez and knowing he's in jail. So and she's, you know, Megan's still recovering from that. Probably take her time to hear from that because, you know, getting shot is, 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 it can be, you know, traumatizing. And I hope she does get the healing she needs in this year and years to come. But yeah, but, you know, the big talk is the Megan Law because it's, it's definitely hit similar to Nicki Minaj's husband. So, you know. No, Nikki didn't like that because that's, that's, you know, that's her family, you know. So she, you know, had to, you know, do that and went in the studio and did that. And, you know, which we know this is Bigfoot. So 
And um, it's a behind the scenes of her on the studio on live. If y'all want to go hear it and go hear the songs. Of course, if I play it on my podcast, ew, I get copyrighted because social media think I'm, I'm taking their songs, which I'm not. I'm just, you know, trying to hear the song. But I heard both sides and, you know, you know, but, but like I say, it's just, it's just, I feel like it's just unnecessary drama, you know, with the female rap, you know, that's why me, since I want to be be a female rap, I want to try to come in the industry and be positive and try to bring women together. But it's just, it's just making female rap look bad between these two, you know, with all this. And these are two beautiful black women, you know, it, it's just like, and we never had another big female collaboration with like, you know, Look Him and, you know, Queen Latifah, Ladies Night. I know if y'all remember that that song that was history where it was just female rap group collaboration and it looked so good to see black women together with that and you know i was i saw i have faith in the female rap of the day to that nikki cardi and megan just and, and other female rap like lotto come together and do a, a iconic thing of how they did back in the day so you know but it's hard because i know nikki ain't gonna recover from the megan law and I know Megan is not going to recover from, you know, her hearing that Bigfoot. So those are like, you know, two things that are serious in their lives that they have jabbed towards each other. And not only that, Nikki made, you know, talked about her dead, dead mom and bring up her old things. So we just know from the looks of it, there's not going to be no solution with this. This is kind of like... They going hard at each other where you can just hear the aggressiveness. Like you hear Nikki, she, the New York is New Yorking out. It's New Yorking. New York is New Yorking. The accent coming out. Megan, she got her, she bringing it out too. So they very aggressive towards each other. So definitely don't see no solution, but they definitely would have made some good hits. I think it's just with female rap, it's just hard for women to come together and it's just making it look bad, bad. Because it, it'll make it look good to have this, you know, the music industry already is a male dominant and having, seeing women not coming together, that makes the industry more happy instead of just having women come together. It'll make a good thing for the industry and for, you know, young female rappers like me or even young female rappers that want to get in the industry, seeing how it is, they don't, you know, it's just kind of hard. So much so much negativity, so much beef, that social media plays a big part of, especially because Nicki Minaj, she got her fan base and they crazy about her. Then Megan, it's just so much that can make two women go against each other. So it's definitely hard and I can see why these two just automatically just hit, you know. And you know, with female rap, Nicki Minaj has not had like good connections with other female rappers with Cardi B and uh, you know, Cardi B, Lil' Kim, you know, the list goes on. So, you know, female rap is just looking more of, just looks more toxic. It looks more of like, it's full of, it's full of hate and it's full of negativity when, you know, these two women are successful. There's plenty of money out there for everybody. There's plenty, you know, do they know who God is? Like, like, there's no need to, like, you know, do this back and forth. There's plenty for everybody. And these women should be able to come together and resolve it. But but that's, like, my opinion, you know, because it definitely breaks the internet seeing a female rap big collaboration come together because we haven't seen that in a while since Ladies Night. Like I said, if you haven't checked that out, go listen to that song. You know, it came out back then because that's what left eye and queen latifah you know that's why i'm stuck on 90s rap because 90s rap was more of like unity and bringing things together and real music and real art so you know it's just hard to do that now because everybody just kind of like it's just hard for people to come together now with all these things going on and you know nikki she's been in the game for 10 years so you know, in my opinion, you know, I feel like she, you know, I don't know why there's not no reason she can't connect with other female rappers 
we never know because like I said, I can't say because we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. We don't know what's going on. We're just going based off what both sides say and what social media says and what the fan says. But we don't know what's going on behind the scenes, behind female rap, you know. We never know what's going on or why Nikki can't connect with other rappers or why this person or why that person. It's, it's just, we never know what's going on behind the scenes. But let you know, there's a lot, you know, the mask, it hides, it hides the issues of, you know, what celebrities go through. And, you know, but, you know, I hate that these two black, beautiful women is not coming together. I wish they can, you know, it just, it's so much. And then, you know, it makes it worse for everybody picking sides on social media. You know, Nikki, she just going hard, like, she's straight active on social media so you know these you know these two women are successful they're doing good with music they're you know bringing some good things to the generation you know nikki has you know made success throughout her years through her rap career you know 10 years straight but like i say y'all you know y'all let me know down in the comments of how y'all feel about this situation between you know nikki nikki and megan you know, I feel like, you know, it just makes it, it just makes it look bad. It just, it's like an, it's just, like I say, I don't have no hate towards these women. I hate is a strong word, but it's, it's used a lot in the music industry, social media. It, it has, hate has taken over negativity and, you know, y'all, y'all stay positive as much as possible, but. I am not choosing no sides, but I want to say, you know, these are two incredible successful women. You know, I hope they get out of this and get out of this 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 pettiness is you know, they older women and it just they don't need for all this. It's so much out there for everybody. You know, God God made blessings all around the world. So, you know, I don't know I don't know why, but you know, they both went hard, you know, at each other. But like I say, you know, we don't never we never know what's going on behind the scenes or why these two women just going this hard at each other. Why this, why that, and, you know, we're just going out based on what we hear and see. But if you haven't heard the two diss tracks, go listen to it and y'all let me know down in the comments of how y'all feel about this beef. Are y'all choosing sides? Are y'all fed up with it? How do y'all feel? You know, what do y'all think? What do y'all think is like what's worse coming up next? Cause Nikki is active and you know, Megan hasn't respond yet. You know, only response she did is the hiss, but y'all let me know down in the comments of how y'all feel about this whole situation with all this messness, you know, messiness going on, you know, everybody's reaction, you know, everybody's reaction on TikTok is just crazy. You know, everybody's, it's just messy. Social media is not the right place to do stuff. So this just getting more dramatic and dramatic and more, just more, you know, drama into this beef. Since they added social media to it, it's, that's going to be, but like I say, y'all, y'all let me know down of how y'all feel in the comments of how y'all think about this whole situation. What are y'all thoughts and feelings? Y'all let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, yeah, y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay safe. We're going to pray for these two women. We, we, Like I say, you know, they both successful. I don't understand. But I think I think I never understand because I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. But I just want to say, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this episode. Like I say, comment down your thoughts and feelings down below. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for more. And guess what, y'all? Mike gonna be working next week, so y'all gonna hear a whole new person. So y'all stay tuned. Stay tuned for some more decorations. Stay tuned for so much things. Y'all, I thank y'all for being along this growth with me in this process of this podcast. This is a safe place to be your own unique self. I always focus on your three G's, God, growth, and goals. Remember to love yourself, work on you in this 2024 season, your hustle season. You know, I always got to say that, you know, work on you and everything else will fall into place. Also, first put God first. I ain't saying no man, no woman. 
Because that's his creation. You put God first, put your faith first, and everything will come together. Don't put nobody before him. And I, don't do that. And I always got to be a reminder. And no matter what relationship you in, you've been born in money or rich, you better put him first and put your faith. And everything will fall into place in your 2024 season and your, your other seasons to come. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay safe out there. Stay observing. Always watch your surroundings. And y'all stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.